Hey, so guys, what are we gonna do for the video project? Well, I have some ideas. Let me read them to you. Okay, so I was thinking of chapter one, but I don't think Dr. Chaudhry said we could do anything from chapter one. I think it was more from this semester, right? So anyhow, uh, maybe chapter 26, the lenses, maybe the lasers, I don't know. Let's see, uh, I don't know. Well, how about if we, or maybe chapter 29, was chapter 29 is there something? to see how far my key thing will work, man. Why do you care? Well, I can't really find my vehicle a lot of the time. You know, since it's not working right now, you can try putting it to your forehead. That way you can amplify the frequency. All right. You can try that. So let me show you, man. Let me see your key. Walk, walk with me. So we're going to go at a distance farther than what you were at. And if I go, say, right here, it's a couple hundred feet away, put it to my head. Works just fine. You try it now. <laughs> See? Works fine. <laughs> I've been doing that trick for years, but I don't know why it works. Well, let me tell you. Well, let's just come over here to the whiteboard, buddy. All right, so when you use your head as a medium to accelerate the electromagnetic wave, the positively charged protons and the negatively charged electrons in your head due to the water are repelled. And as long as it's in phase, it's going to accelerate the electromagnetic wave, which is going to create a greater amplification. So does this look pretty accurate to you? Looks good, man. All right, so what I think we should do is we should test a water solution compared to a water and salt solution and see the difference. So where are we going to find water and salt water? Listen man, I'm always prepared. Alright. Well let's try water first. Right now I'm at the same distance as we were when we put it to our head. So let's try it with a lot of water at the same distance, see if we have the same effect. So it looks like it works just fine. So let's try salt water now. Salt water. So stay, still at the same distance. I'm going to put the key next to the jar of salt water. Works fine. Now let's try a farther distance. So I'm going a couple paces further from the car. Start with the water. All right, pass. All right, so here's the water. A couple feet away, extra feet away. Doesn't seem like I get, doesn't seem like I get anything. The signal. So let's try the salt water. Nothing. So really it doesn't matter if you're using a jar of water, salt water, or your head. It basically gives you the same results. But if you ask me, man, like I've been doing for years, it's always best to just use your head. So yeah, 26 looks a little bit difficult. So maybe we go into lab and work on the lenses. That's chapter 27. I still don't understand, man. Sorry, I, I can't lie. No. Wait, hang on. Hold on, sorry, I don't, I don't mean to. Did it work? Why, well, did that? I don't know, I, I can't see. So is it kind of like this? 
So say this is your key right here, and this is your car. Well, in this case, it's a truck. Well, let me tell you. That's so dumb. <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. Get it right in the middle. Yeah, just stop moving. <laughs> I still don't understand, man.